slander. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Um, exhilarating. Let's see. Let me put let me put it on game so I can turn the volume up and down. Yeah, I know it was a bit loud. <laughs> I was like, ah. Okay, new game. Demo. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floor so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely exchange unpleasantry unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants you may have noticed need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Day one, Friday. If you have difficulty reading, you can use the wheel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, you can actually make it huge. <laughs> Cool. I found it! An expert excerpt on the ex elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. Yes, give Hellbor a good scratch behind the ear from me. I need to go to Ambleside, a will to explore, a closer inspection. Wait, what is this? I have neither time nor this. Membership fee. <laughs> Thanks, DS. <laughs> Thank you, DSS. Oh my god. Thank you. Gotta get my pink parses somehow. Uh, wait, still not as big as Todd's fort. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Good job. Okay, uh, what is this? Drag a plant here to take a closer look at it. Ah. That's a nice plant. A rising dread. I have growing fear deep within me. I cannot let it take hold. Okay. Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh, magnifying glass. Oh, hello. Here, Todd. You can read this. This is a stain. I spilt my coffee here this morning. What is this thing? Labels. What do you what do you have to do? Oh. Oh, you can like move this. Cool. What is this? Oh! Sorry, I, I poor kitty. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. <gasps> Spooky. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has the better... has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Clues. Oh, dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Bakabaro. Keep it secret. There's labels. Ooh, strange. What is this? Strange book of plants. So wait, I have to give this lady St. John's Poppy? Oh, I guess I have to figure out what plant is what. Have you been? Have I? I have. I've been in several. 
It has our god Zedu who led you here. <laughs> the green text, can you move the camera a bit? Uh, won't be blocked. Uh, the green text not important. Um, it, the the text is important. I'll let you know. I'll I'll move if I, if there's something that I'm hiding important that's important. Wait, what did that say? I can water plants. You can water your plants using the water can to earn will to explore. Where's the watering can? Oh. Okay. All right, hold on. This exercise can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to, identif to aid identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. All right, so Bishop's Parasol. Okay. Uh, can be considered treatment for stomach pains, severe uh, severe fatigue once the effect has worn off, great strength for short periods. Okay. What does she need? So she needs to. Okay, so she needs like super hearing. Beautiful round it made for small okay. Um sleeping draughts. Ha, uh represent a contract of friendship between straight and thick, shiny and grow opposite. Offering of his is considered some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers, okay? Friendship flower. Medicinal properties, digestive problems. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Assist in wind dispersal. So Oh, 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 that's just a flower. <laughs> I thought that meant like it helps you fart. <laughs> just kidding. Once dried and hardened, the sims can be burned as incense. They burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks. While they believed to be spirits of the dead souls trapped in the plant. That's terrifying. Curing afflictions of the heart. Okay. Used to grow war royal guidance here in each confidence with a practical lot of favor. Collect large amount. Wait, the wide. Okay, yes. Can be bound to secrecy, so we can hold people accountable. <laughs> I guess. What's the St. John's poppy thing under her? Oh, is that what she needs? Oh, I guess I'm reading all of them when I don't need to. Oh, there it is. Embarrass hearing. Okay. All right, it looks like this. The flowers of the St. John poppies are bright red with yellow center. I think it's these. Here you go. Use plant. I was reading all of them, but okay. I got a book entry. According to legend, Calathelium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. Ah. Ah. Where was I? Okay, whatever. Kitty! What else do we have? What is this? Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a map. Whoa, you can like zoom in! Can you like go there? Can you like travel? I guess not. You put this up. Oh, I can just do this. This is okay. That's nice. What is this though? Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Hint. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out here there today. Good for the plants though, eh? We got a letter for you. Oh, a letter. Okay, let's put this up. A letter. Collect. Okay. What is this? Uh, Go Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. <gasps> After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place, I began my recovery in the woods to the south of town with a group of travelers. On the, on the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright fall a bright flower and tears 
flow down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in the world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. The purr is strong. Can y'all hear it? <laughs> I like the sound. Uh, something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around through, uh, down through Backbarrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Oops. Anyway, I'm here now, and I brought Finnet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Can I, like, name... Saint... What was it? Saint John's Poppy? Look at that! I can name them! Okay, I need to find a lemon dandy. Oh, Saint John... St. John's Poppy. Can you edit? Whatever. Fine. Wait, unless you can... Nope, nope, can't do it. Uh, Lemon Dandy. Okay, Lemon Dandy. Why does he want this? Curing Afflictions of the Heart. Oh, okay. Got it. Gilbert Emmes. Alright, so curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon. Okay. We're gonna become experts in flowers after this chat. Oh, this thing? Or this thing? No, it looks like this thing. Uh, let's, let's check, let's check. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Hopefully you don't die. Oh, we got it right. What? Oh, I got a new plant! Thank you. I forgot what he called it <laughs> already. Did y'all catch that chat? Lemon Dandy. Uh, you have a thing in the left corner that helps identify. Oh, this? Oh, this thing. Got it. Got it. I guess here. Let me let me move this then. I always have to move. I need to, like, sit down and, like, create a bunch of different orientations so I don't have to constantly move this. So when you start brainwashing people, it's already begun. You just don't know about it. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing. But not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. <gasps> oh, sleep! 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 Sleep. I know just the thing. I know just the thing. Sleeping ja ha found it. <laughs> uh oh wait, you already know it. Darn it! It already told me. I can't I keep see I can't keep not seeing this. Darn it! Why does this game make you not read? Okay, let's see. Where is it? This one? Let's see. Oh, there's a soft purple. Uh, beautiful, rounded, dark blue. Okay, I don't think these are them. Dark blue. Oh, wait. These. This is them. Yeah. Yeah. These are the forest camp free. Yeah. Book entry. Butterdale. Skin rashes. Okay, let's see. Forest. Camp. Marine. 
The legend. Hello, Le Vince. Excuse me. Hello, Vince. The blue messages. <laughs> something about it in her note. I should visit the library in Am's, Am, Ambleside. As soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their course. I'm not welcome here. Oh. Oh, crap! I did something wrong! Okay, I'm gonna not click this. Alright, gonna be careful next time. My bad. Got any wandering view? That always reminds me of, oh, what's his name? The old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the view if you got it. I don't think, didn't she just say I don't, I think I don't have it? Wandering view, wandering view, wandering view. I don't have it. All right, so what does that mean? I guess I can explore now. What is this? Ooh, what did I find? Found something. This is this game is so mysterious. All right, well, girl, you're gonna have to wait for a while. I need to go find it. I need to go get it. I'm gonna water my plants while I wait. I'm waiting for this thing to go around. Why'd you go to their forest? Jeez, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. Did you play this demo, Orca? I love how you can, like, cover over it. Almost! Almost! Is this the letter? Yeah. Library in Ambleside. I even found something on the Gilded Journal that might even okay. Ambleside. Okay, here we go. Alright, Amble side, Amble side. Amble side. Y'all see Amble side? I see it, Amble side. There we go. The library here at Amble side is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she's reading ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. There we go. Gilded Dendra and Wandering View. So this is a, a poison. Oh, touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Painful way to die. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, what is this? The gills on the other side of the mushroom. Cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. Okay. Alright. Um, got it. So I need some wandering view. Please. What do you do with this thing? Uh, do I have it? Hold on, let's see. Hold over this fungus. So it's a mushroom? Can move slowly in the dark. It has been known to cover distances. The gills on the underside of this mushroom. Okay. I thought maybe I could see underneath. Uh, form beautifully, beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Okay. Uh... Undersides are somewhat sharp. Okay, so maybe not that one. Hmm. Time to start killing people. What? How much playtime do you reckon you have on 14? Uh, a lot. I can't remember how much. This says it forms a beautiful flowing lines, though. Oh, they are also quite hard and sharp. Okay, yeah, maybe this is it. All right, you know what? One way to find out. Oh, okay, there we go. 
don't die. All right, so this is wondering you. Um. Oh, I ended the day. Ended the day. Should I like label all of these already? Nah, we won't. Hi, Jen. Oh yeah, like a hundred hours. That doesn't sound like a lot though. I've been playing the game since it came out in 2013. <laughs> you think I would have a lot more days than that? A lot more hours. Um. Oh my god, the second one thing. <laughs> um, give me more time to think about it, but yeah, that looks funny. I like the second one. Um, okay, end day. What happens when you end? 100 days. What's this? <gasps> Bro H the third river. It started when she found something, something that she was not meant to find, a book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside library. Was that like my future? My future, was it my tarot reading? Hold on, let's see if we can find this. Can y'all find this river? Does this, does this river, does this river exist? Oh my god, I can't. No! No! There we go. No. Too squiggly. Too squiggly. I don't know if we're supposed to find a river. It looks, it looks like this, no. Hmm. It's supposed to be by the Amble sides. Where was that, over here? Weird, don't know what that means, but okay. It's a clue. What are we finding though? Oh, hello. Bring me a sample of an Apis Demisis. And be quick about it. That dang cat is setting off my allergies. Aww. Don't be mean. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. What's this? Isidore Burbri Burbage. Burbage. Is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. Oh, no wonder he's poopy. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him. But with wealth comes power, and few would challenge him to his face. Chat log. Huh. Can we kill him? It said it's in row H. Oh, was there rows? Is there anything? What is this? Faye Swift. Faye grew up with her mother. Her father was very, rarely violent. But once is enough. When he struck her, it finally broke the hold he had over her mother, and she fled in the night. The sleeping Faye held close. Faye often had vivid dreams, but has never considered that other people do not. Oh, hi! Hi, Nicholas! Hi! Oh my god! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Hi! How are y'all tonight? Hello! How was your stream? Is this a raid? Oh, you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn! Oh! Are you enjoying it? You getting ready for Forbidden West? I wish this li wish list this game on Steam today. Yeah, I'm playing the demo right now because I want to know if I if this is something that I want to play. It's really cool and unique so far. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but this game recently count came out on Steam yesterday. It's called Strange Strange Horticulture. It's like about a lady who sells different types of plants, herbs, mushrooms um, for different ailments. But I think there's a little twist to it. I'm I'm still learning though, but it's really fun. Really cool. And we're gonna also play a game called Escape Simulator later after the demo. But hi, it's your first playthrough. I'm I hope you're enjoying it. No, you're totally fine. Thank you so much, Nick Orgs. Thank you for sharing your community with mine. You are so sweet. 
Yeah, it's interesting. It's strange. Ha ha ha. Um, but I'm still, I'm still like unlocking different things and whatnot. We got a, a very mean, a mean, mean guy who wants Apis Demisus. I don't know what that is. Do I even have that? Huh, I don't even have that, buddy. I don't even have that. I don't even have that ingredient. What is, oh, is these just bios? Is there any more? Oh, I can't click on any more. What is hint? That sounds like the Latin name for a plant. I should consult my book. Oh, okay, my book. Sir Danny, thank you so much for the 38 months. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Give him poison? I mean, we could, but, uh, what was the hit? The Latin, Latin name for a plant, Apis. Uh, oh, 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 there's, oh, there's, there's the Latin names underneath. Ah, he needs Gandy root. Ah, aha, of course, of course, I should have known. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with di- Oh, he has poop problems. <laughs> Nothing wrong with poop problems, but maybe that's why he's so cranky. Um, okay. This must be taken. Uh, rough leaves can be irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is it this? No, I think it's this one. Yeah. Care must be able to, uh, I think this is it. It looks like it. Yeah, this is it. All right. Here you go. Nice. Every time you do it right, it does that little sound, and then you get more entries into your book. You couldn't just say the normal name? I know. I think it's because maybe not many people know the Latin word of the of the flower, and he's embarrassed, maybe. Hi, Silent. Hello. I like this game though so far. Hi, Dark Moon. All right. We can also you can also pet the cat in this game, and he purrs. It's so cute. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, I got a letter. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Thank you, sir. What is my mail? Okay, let me let me close this and move this to the side. There is an old slate, and you can also zoom in, which is nice. There's an old slate, mine at hard knot, that has something has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Okay, so where? Old slate mine at hard knot. Okay. Old slate mine at hard knot. Hard knot. Do y'all see hard knot anywhere? Also, I need to look at this. Row H. Row H. I don't understand the third river. From what? The left or the right? We'll, we'll do that one later. All right. This feels like potion. It does kind of feel like the potion crafty game. Hi, KG. Most games let you pet animals now. Aww. I have creepy piano music. I know, it's nice. It's chill. All right, for... Uh... Hmm, I'm the worst at finding things on maps. Hard knot, hard knot, not fort, hard knot. Where is it? Oh, hard knot, there we go. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment since ac sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge, locked. Oh, what is this, we need a plant? Clavialium, cl clavialium. <clears throat> this, we need this plant. Put a legend and can be used to open any lock. Oh, there we go. Heart shaped leaves. Heart shaped leaves. Heart shaped leaves. Leaves. Uh. Uh. I mean. Mm, does it have? 
have like any flowers? What is this? Just this maybe? Smooth waxy leaves? Uh, do we have that plant? Okay, I guess I do. This looks like it. Pretty, you're pretty good at treasure maps. Yeah, but that's in a different game. Yeah, silent. Plants in this place are OP. I know, right? We need to get some clap. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it worked. Okay. Cool. Nice. I'm gonna label it now. Clavilium. There we go. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. <gasps> I got all three of these plants. New plants! Mushrooms! Ooh, it's a glowy one, too. Cool! And we can set them... Oh my god, wait! I can, like, organize my plants. So, like, all the mushrooms in, like, one place. And all, like, the leafy type plants in, like, another. Maybe. Also, it would be nice to, like, have them all, like, close. <laughs> then I don't have to, like, constantly scroll. Do I have any other mushrooms? Here we go. This is my mushroom one. This will be my colorful flowers. My, like, purple, red, purple, red mushroom. Do I have another purple flower? Perfect. <laughs> um... We'll just move these around. Um, we'll just put this guy over here. Okay, uh, that's good. We'll put the weird plants up here. Some of the weird plants. Okay. All right. Let's close this. Found that. All right. Let's go. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder. Oh. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. The Sisterhood is the, the witches in the woods, just FYI. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. <gasps> My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button? Fox button. Offering a fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship. Thick, spiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stems. I'm guessing it's this one. Um, Cartman, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back to the fair family. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. The witches are gonna kill him, calling it. Uh, they're pro. <laughs> They're gonna use them as a sacrifice. Okay, hold on. It's either this or this. But these leaves look circular, like curvy. Um. Oh, it's these. It's these. It's these. Okay. I hope. <laughs> um. Do, do, does all these people... Ruben works with the police on murder cases. He's a kind, good-humored man, but beneath the mask, he is deeply sad. Aw. His only child, a daughter, had seemed troubled for some time before running away from home several years ago. The victims whose story he tries to uncover are all somebody's son, somebody's daughter. The search for answers drives him forward, piecing together the logic of life and death. Aww. That's so sad. Okay, we need to make sure we give him like extra fox button somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Aww. That makes me sad. Poor guy. Fox button. Whenever he comes in, we should just give him extra stuff. Hopefully it works for him. I hope he doesn't die. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. Oh, it's Victoria again. 
There's a, she was my first customer. There's a medium using the room, illegally I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Oh geez, so she, she wants to, oh, she wants to get back at her. I don't know, I don't know if you should try to anger people, anger somebody that's trying to like, summon, summon dead, go, like dead people. It's gonna come after you. What does this do? Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks. Oh, okay, yeah, that would freak me out too. Um, so, so vicious though. Um, bushy blue flower. That one's not it. Bushy blue flower. Uh, heads, heads die back. They release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersion. Okay. Um. This? That's not blue though. No. It's fun, isn't it, Renu? I mean, this calming music isn't exactly setting a happy mood. True. <laughs> but it's fun! What flower? Is it this one? No. This one. This one. Uh. It's blue. I think it's this, this. I think it's this. What do you think? This, this flower, guys? This has to be it. Because it says it's a blue flower head. So. <gasps> Witchy! Hi! Oh my god, thank you so much for the raid! You guys are so sweet! Hello! How was your stream? Oh my goodness. Hello! Let me get a shout out command for Witchy. Oh, thank you, Todd. You did a shout out command for Nega Oryx, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. Um, oh, you're playing Animal Crossing. Hi! It's nice to meet you guys. We're playing a new game called uh, Strange Horticulture. It's really fun. I'm playing the demo right now, but this game came out yesterday. It seems uh, unique and interesting so far. Hi, Witchy! Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. I appreciate you so much. If you guys could please stop what you're doing and go follow Witchy TQ, that would make me make me really happy. That and Nega Oryx, because we got double rated, so that was really sweet. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna use this. Okay, so she, I think that's Harlequin Blue. So, okay, we're good. Got, it, got it, got it, got it. All right, let me label that. Har Harlequin Blue. Perfect. I'm, I'm getting getting through some of these. <gasps> oh, why do you have a cape on? Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. Oh, she's the sisterhood. She's like one. Oh, it's funny. She's there's like witches in this game. Witches that live uh, in the forest called the sisterhood. And Arda was their leader. So hold on. Uh, Arda said, "May may our our doing are you in a." Bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. Ooh. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. <gasps> Beth was born into a loving family, but never felt settled. She sought out a higher purpose when she was still young and left home at 14 to join the sisterhood. The head of the sisterhood, the Arda, took a liking to her and helped her to develop a renewed purpose, caring for the forest and putting her faith in the goddess Ardui. Are you not? No, oh, I can't say that. Now her mentor has been murdered, and Beth is looking for answers. Aw. Okay. So. Oh wow. Okay. So they want me to. They want to bind me to secrecy. Wow. This is cool. Okay, witchy. All good. Thank you so much again for the raid. I understand. Maybe this this would be up your alley. Why do I keep moving my drink over here? 
We got it in! I know, now we can go to the forest! Mm. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, smooth waxy leaves. The wide waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. Okay, I think this is it. Yes. I think. Oh, wait. Oh, and this is waxy too. Uh. Smooth waxy or veiny waxy? This is kind of veiny. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I was like, can I look? Uh, hmm. I'm thinking it's this one then. I almost jumped to conclusion because I just saw waxy. Definitely does, yes. Thank you, Orca. Hi, Ian. All right, let's try, please be the right one. I need, I need an in. I don't, I don't see anything else that could be it, so. Okay. Mary's breath. Ooh, a letter. Oh, here we go. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Brisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. Please help us. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go there. So let me put this up. Let me finish this. Wait, what was it called? Mary's oh gosh. Mary's breath, okay. Okay. Alright, so let's figure out where this is. Oh god, where'd it go? Okay. Oh, um, that's not it. That's not it. I need to go get that too. Wait, should I get well, I'll get this after. This one. Um Grisdale Forest. Okay, Grisdale Forest. A mile from the lake shore across from Torver. Um a mile. Okay, so one block is a mile. So one mile from the shore from Tor so I'm guessing this. A sister tries to stop me from entering. But I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard and then th through a large oak door, along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table draped in silk is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as raven's wing. As a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Ask my escort. Asks my escort. I set to work. Oh. I need to get Ren. Okay, let's put that away. Ren? Ren, okay. So spooky. And the fact that you have to measure miles. Wait, where's the cop? <laughs> wait, oh wait, right. The cop wanted to investigate. Huh, it's okay. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and so can be used to detect them. <gasps> Though it has no flower. Is it this? It is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. Oh. Huh. I think that's the only one we have. I think it's this, so... Yeah. Okay. Good job. Got a new one. Alright, let me label that. Wren. I extract a sample of the Arda's blood, introduce it to the Wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the Wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded Dendra poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do not, they do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I'm grateful for. Oh, that's so nice. Ah, new plant. Nice. Oh, it's this guy again, the mean guy. I'm this close to reporting you, half-wit. 
The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Oh my gosh, wait, there's two options. Butterdale or Meekdo. Oh jeez, he's threatening me. What a jerk. Well, he wanted, he told me exactly what he wanted. So it's not like, what would, hold on. What was the thing that he wanted? This. When prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Okay, so he just didn't take proper care. Ooh, kill him. <laughs> Is that your first reaction to everything, Orchid? All right, Butterdale. This is the first option. Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mul mulch to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. Or meek do. The beautiful flowers made of, up of, small, of many smaller florets Make this sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Oh, they're giving me the option of either curing him or giving him more painful sores. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, is that like the point of the game? I'm supposed to like make enemies? Hmm. What do you think, chat? The reason why he's so mean is because he never had nice parents, apparently. He grew up with with no love from his parents, so that's why he's mean. What if we show him love and kindness? Maybe maybe then he'll give us money, because apparently he's really wealthy. He can either make or break us, I guess. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he wasn't an ally from the get-go. Yeah, he is a little unsavory, but does... I, I say we give him one more chance, Orca. Just one more chance. And if he comes back and he's mean, then we give him the meek do. Yeah. Convert him. Oh yeah, this is a cult game after all. Maybe we can put him give give him give him an or what did, what do you say? Make him join our cult. We can allow him to join. Hi Vic! Alright, so I need to find Butterdale. Uh, thick or dark green leaves, dark green leaves. Okay, that's it. Uh, clumps on valley sides. This doesn't give me a lot of. Ooh. Oh, maybe this, maybe. It is dark green. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's, oh wait, no, that's St. John's Poppy. What am I talking about? Uh, get into his will, then kill him. What? It's on the right side. Am I blind? Oh, this one. Oh, you're so good. Okay, it's th it's this. The purple flowers have a light buttery scent. Oh, buttery scent. This is it. All right, dude. I'm giving you a warning. If you're not gonna be nice, I'm gonna give you something that will make you really be m mean. Yeah. There you go. Wait, what was it called? Butterdale? Butterdale. I can change the color. Ah. Ah. Perfect. In day. Is that the demo? Oh, just kidding. Wow, this demo is pretty long. Good night, thought thinking. North of Hawk Hawk's Head, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Prinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it, for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Ah, 
Okay, so we found a book in the forgotten corner of the library. And then we hid it. So maybe we're trying to find the book. And these are the clues to find this book that gave me power. Oh, there we go. Power. Okay, this is fun. I think I'm going to definitely get this game. <laughs> what do y'all think of this game? Is this a game I should play next week? Or the following week? Or the following days, I guess? You wish listed, wish listed it? You like it so far? I like it too. It's spooky, but cool. 